when accounting for your greenhouse gas emissions, it's not too long before you encounter the terms Scope 1, Scope 2 and Scope 3 emissions. What do these terms mean and how do they affect your greenhouse gas accounting? Let's take a look. Welcome to EMS Mastery, where we look at the successful strategies and tactics to master environmental management and sustainability. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Andrew Marlow. This episode looks at the terms Scope 1, Scope 2 and Scope 3 emissions used in greenhouse gas or GHG accounting and how they can be used within the GHG accounting within your organisation. One of the main documents that can be used for GHG accounting is the Greenhouse Gas Protocol, a corporate accounting and reporting standard, which has been published jointly by the World Resources Institute and the World Business Council for Sustainable Development. Within this document, the concept of scope is used to help provide a distinction between direct and indirect emission sources, to help improve transparency and provide clarity for different types of organisations and different types of climate policies and business goals. Therefore, three scopes, scope one, two and three, are defined for GHG accounting and reporting purposes. Scopes one and two are carefully defined in this standard to ensure that two or more companies will not account for the same emissions under the same scope. This makes the scopes compatible for use in GHG programmes where double counting matters. As a minimum, organisations can separately account for and report for scope 1 and scope 2 emissions. So, let's take a look at each of the scopes and their definitions. Scope 1 is the direct GHG emissions. Direct GHG emissions occur from sources that are owned or controlled within the company. For example, emissions from combustion in owned or controlled boilers, furnaces and vehicles. Further examples are given, such as emissions from chemical production in owned or controlled process equipment. Direct CO2 emissions from the combustion of biomass are not included in Scope 1, but can be reported separately. GHG emissions not covered by the Kyoto Protocol, such as CFCs and nitrogen oxides, shall not be included in Scope 1, but may also be reported separately. Scope 2, Electricity Indirect GHG Emissions. Scope 2 accounts for the GHG emissions from the generation of purchased electricity consumed by the company. Purchased electricity is defined as electricity that is purchased or otherwise bought into the organisational boundary of the company. Within this definition, the Scope 2 emissions physically occur at the facility where the electricity is generated. Scope 3 – Other Indirect GHG Emissions Scope 3 is an optional reporting category that allows for the treatment of all other indirect emissions. Scope 3 emissions are the consequence of the activities of the company but occur from sources not owned or controlled by the company. Such examples of Scope 3 activities are extraction and production of purchased materials, transportation of purchased fuels and use of sold per products and services. So, to summarise, the Greenhouse Gas Protocol, a corporate accounting and reporting standard, provides the definitions of Scope 1, 2 and 3 emissions, which can help to inform your greenhouse gas accounting within your organisation. Further information on Scope 1, 2 and 3 emissions 
and a link to the greenhouse gas protocol is given in the description box below, including a link to the resources on the emsmastery.com website. If this episode has helped to advance your understanding of the use of the terms scope 1, 2 and 3 in your greenhouse accounting, please leave a comment in the box below if this episode has helped you. If you got value from this episode, please subscribe to this YouTube channel to ensure that you don't miss out on other episodes on environmental management and sustainability. Until then, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, you can watch other episodes by clicking on the boxes in the top and bottom right, and to subscribe to this YouTube channel, click on the link to the left. Thank you.